हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ पैथोलॉजी जेनेटिक्स का हम चैप्टर कर रहे हैं फ्राम मीडियम रॉबिन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर गैलेक्टोसीमिया वी आर बेसिकली डिस्कसिंग दोज डिसऑर्डर्स वेयर द जीन्स आर म्यूटेटेड इन सच अ वे दैट दीज जीन्स अफेक्ट प्रोटीन विच परफॉर्म्स एन इनजाइमेरिक रिएक्शन सो अल्टीमेटली वन और द अदर मेटाबॉलिक पाथवे विल बी अफेक्टेड सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी जस्ट डिस्कस्ड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो फिनाइल कीटोन यूरिया and phenyl ketoneuria was a disease where the phenyl alanine hydroxylase enzyme is deficient because the gene which uh, encodes for phenyl alanine hydroxylase is mutated so today we are going to cover galactosemia this is also an autosomal recessive disorder just like phenyl um, ketoneuria and uh, this disorder of galactose metabolism results from a mutation in the gene which encodes for an enzyme obviously and the name of the enzyme is galt and galt stands for g4 galactose um, then one phosphate uridyl transferase okay so gal is for galactose basically uh, sometimes in medicine it's difficult to remember the short bits but uh, you have to make sense out of them otherwise it will be very difficult for you to remember so galt deficiency of this particular enzyme and uh, the disease called galactosemia and uh, it is much rarer as compared to phenyl ketoneuria that was one in 10000 incidents and here we have got one in 60000 live borns are uh, live births are affected normally lactase is splits lactose the major carbohydrate of the mammalian milk into glucose and galactose so that's the normal okay so in the milk we get lactose when we are drinking milk and this is then split into two monosaccharides glucose and galactose and that's the job of lactase that's the enzyme responsible now galactose which is produced here as a split of lactase is converted also into glucose in uh, by following multiple steps and this is where galt is required so understand the normal first now if there is galt deficiency then what will happen that galactose will not be converted into glucose right so as a result of the deficiency galactose 1 phosphate and other metabolites including galactosal uh, they accumulate in the tissue so imagine this is what is happening you have lactose in the milk and now this lactose is being converted into glucose plus galactose right and now this galactose has to be converted into glucose by an enzyme and this enzyme is now mutated so this reaction will not happen so this galactose will take up uh, parallel pathways it will be converted into galactose one phosphate and other metabolites and this is what happens accumulation of these metabolites in galactosemia okay and they can have um you know uh, bad effects on several of your tissues so for example liver spleen lens of the eye cerebral cortex kidneys they are affected because abnormal metabolites are high in concentration in your blood the liver eyes and brain bear the brunt of the damage so these are the main ones liver eyes and brain and the early onset hepatomegaly affecting liver results largely from fatty change but in time widespread scarring that closely resembles cirrhosis so that's very very bad uh, morphology at the end of the day opacification of the lens which is what we call the cataract that develops because you have a lot of uh, products which gets into the lens and then causes cataract formation so for example galactitol non specific alterations also appear in the central nervous system including the loss of nerve cell gliosis edema in the cns there is a still uh, no clear understanding let me clear up this mess that i created uh, so that we can complete reading the text so exact mechanism of uh, injury to the cns is not clear but it is believed that the ele elevated level of the metabolites are dangerous okay uh, almost from birth affected infants fail to thrive vomiting and diarrhea appear within few days and milk gets out joint disappears which is also very common in newborns but that then persists there is also hepatomegaly and this becomes evident in the first week of life accumulation of galactose and galactose 1 phosphate in the kidney also impairs the amino acid transport so uh, kidneys are affected there is fulminant e coli septicemia occurs with increased frequency as well so imagine this baby which is produced with galactosemia uh, 
has all these life-threatening symptoms very early on in life in the first week. So this is why the first line says, almost from birth, they fail to thrive. Okay, septicemia bhi ho hai. Newborn screening tests are widely utilized in the US to pick this up. They depend on the fluorometric assay for GALT enzyme because this is deficient in galactosemia. If the levels are down, they worry about it. Uh, if the levels are high um, uh, or normal, it means the enzyme system is working. Okay. A positive screening test must be confirmed by further assays, GALT assays in uh, RBC, for example. An antenatal diagnosis is also possible if you uh, particularly focus on GALT enzymes. So amniotic fluid cells can tell you a lot about it. So people are not going towards prenatal diagnosis, antenatal diagnosis, so that you are well aware of the problem even before the birth of the baby. Many of the clinical and morphological changes of galactosemia can be prevented or at least ameliorated by removal of galactose from the diet. But many of the babies just die in the first week, so you don't just get time to do that. If instituted soon after birth, this diet prevents cataracts and liver damage and permits almost normal development. Um, if that happens, you know, if you immediately catch it, but that becomes very difficult to task because eight week is a very small time. Even with the dietary restrictions, however, older uh, patients frequently are affected by a speech disorder. They have ovarian failure. They have ataxia-like conditions. So the babies don't live normal life, basically, right? So this is what is galactosemia to me. Uh, the take-home message is that symptoms appear very, very early on. You should know the name of the enzyme. You should know the incidence. And you should know what organs are primarily affected in this disease. So that's all about galactosemia. I'll see you in the next video, which will be lysosomal storage disease. Very soon, take care of yourself.